Hi everyone, this is Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into our daily update for the Cardano token. If you are enjoying this daily content, make sure to go and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and if you're interested, I've got a Discord group and a Twitter, and I'll make sure to leave links to both below. This is the Cardano token on the daily time frame, and in yesterday's video, I did actually map out to everyone that we did have this white box here, and I said to everyone that this white box was definitely a potential to somewhere where we could find a support, and we could actually fall out of this white box as well if we did see enough uh, selling pressure. But what's managed to happen is right at the top here, you can see this support level. This has been um, a resistance in the past, this 20th of August, and you can see that that's where we wicked up to. And I, we actually did come back down as well on the 24th of August yesterday. We came and back tested that level, we found it as a support, and we actually um, came back down today as well. And you can see that with these bullish wicks here that we have actually become um, bought up by the bulls around uh, 4% from where that wick actually formed and we did actually manage to go on for continuation. So we are definitely holding a really nice support here for the Cardano token and we are actually seeing da uh, daily candles closing above this uh, $2.68 uh, region. And this is definitely really good. It is um, an area which is obviously a higher low. Um, this is somewhere where we haven't even been in this price territory ever since um, we hit it as a resistance three days ago. So we are definitely looking really good for the Cardano token. One thing that I would like to bring to, into uh, everyone's attention is this 20 EMA. And you can see that the 20 EMA is on that $2.21. I would like to see that um, increase a little bit. You can see that we are 26% away from our daily time frames 20 EMA, and this definitely isn't healthy. We would like to see it um, catch up to the price action a little bit, and one way that this can happen is if we did see a bit of a correction. So I would definitely like to see a bit of consolidation for Cardano. Um, a really healthy area where we could um, consolidate is actually between the resistance and this current support, and you can see that that resistance is at $2.97, and obviously our supports are at $2.97, and 68 cent now if we did just see a week or two where we were kind of going in between levels and um, maybe breaking um holding nice some nice support levels uh, and maybe falling through a few of them that would actually be really healthy it'd mean that we could actually reset this rsi for cardano we are actually on that 74 level and the stock rsi is uh, proceeding to come down as it has been ever since the 14th of august so we are actually coming down in that stock rsi right now and the rsi is also correcting so we, we do actually have quite a lot of room to the upside as well if we were to see a bullish scenario so it definitely isn't um valid just yet if we are going to see any consolidation or if we're going to see any um any downtrends as we are still above that 20 year may and when you're above the 20 year may you are definitely in an uptrend and we are still holding really key areas of support that um previous resistance over here which was a resistance on the 22nd of august you can clearly see that we're holding it as a really nice support so we are definitely looking healthy for the cardano token um, and you can see that if I was to give a bullish scenario, um, you can see that this 90 levels where we actually came to last time for the Cardano token, when we were right at the top of the RSI, and you can see that currently we are around that 75 level. So we do, we do definitely have a lot of room to take advantage of that RSI still if we were to see that buying pressure. And you can see that with this um, Stotch RSI, every time on this uh, four hourly time frame for a little while now, um, you can see that when we are actually creeping up on this uh, level, that this is when we see a bit of a breakout in the price action. And you can see that this is quite consistent. You can see it happened here on August, uh, the 22nd of August, the 18th of August. If I just um, zoom out to the more price action over here, you can see that it also happened on the 13th where we saw that breakout. Um, if I go over here, you can see on the 9th of August is when we saw the breakout, when we saw that turn in the stock. And I can just continue um, to share this with you guys. You can see that these would have all been really nice entry levels. So I do think that it is something that we do need to be paying attention to. When we do see that curve in that stock RSI, I'm going to be indicating to everyone definitely just to be paying attention. And um, it, it is actually a really good indicator for entry levels, the stock RSI. But we must always remember that we do need to be holding key areas of support as well. And hopefully if you are above that 20 EMA and 4 hourly, this is definitely going to indicate that you are in a good um, that you are in a good entry level. And we also do always look for that uh, RSI to be nicely reset as long as it's in like a nice comfortable region. And you can see at the minute we are in that 56 level on the RSI. So like I say on that uh, daily time frame as well, if we do manage to see a bit of a spike in volume, we are definitely going to be going on a, for a nice increase in the price action. And I do think that there is definitely a potential bullish side to this um, Cardano price action. But don't be uh, fearful if we do actually see a bit of a correction in the meantime. 
Uh, corrections are definitely good. The only reason that you were able to go up like you did is because we were consolidating for a few months. So sorry for a few weeks. So you do definitely need um, them corrections and that consolidation before you do go on for continuation. And that's definitely um, a very important part of this uh, bull cycle. And now I'm just going to get into the weekly time frame just to share with you that macro view what um, you can see on here. And you can see how healthy this. Um, well, maybe not healthy. We do still need a bit more of a correction maybe uh, before this looks healthy as we have seen. Uh, six green candles in a row and if I do just measure that um, from the bottom where we did see that wave for bottom uh, you can see that that's around 172 percent in gains so we do definitely need a bit of a, a correction on a week hopefully and we've got um, some really nice uh, support targets written out there I'll keep updating everyone daily so um, I'm gonna mention them more in uh, later videos but right now we are definitely still going on for continuation by the looks of it as we are looking nice on that four hourly time frame and that uh, daily time frame is also looking quite good right now as well as we are finding a really nice support. And I'm just going to share with everyone what our uh, projections are, some nice uh, price targets that we need to be looking out for. And I've just got the Fibonacci extension tool in here. I'm taking it from the bottom of our wave 4, our previous low, to the top of our previous um, high on that wave 3. And this is where I actually extended it so that you can get these um, nice pr price projections. And this is going to give us some price targets past the, um, the all-time high. And this is actually coming in at 0.236, that $2.83. That's been a really key resistance. So that one's already shown um, that it is very, a very key target. And we did actually project that prior to the price action actually occurring. And you can see on that 0.382 level that we have got that $3.03, that 0.5, the $3.20, and then the 0 0.618, that $3.37, and then the 0.786 is $3.61. And this is before you do get to around that $4 range, and we are actually projecting that that could potentially happen at the end of September. Now, this is only going to happen if we do continue to hold support levels. We're still trending above that 20 in May, and we are seeing a really nice spike in volume. And this is all um, kind of backed up by indicators like the RSI. If you do see an RSI which is overextended like this one is right now, you might see a bit of a correction. But what we need to remember in the crypto space is that you can always see a lot of price action um, increase actually when you do uh, overextend on these, on these RSIs. And this has definitely happened in the past, so I do definitely think this could happen again. Um, so this price prediction is um, a bit relative to that. So I do think that this is definitely a potential. But we do definitely need to continue to hold them support levels and take out new resistances. And this is going to be really positive. We are definitely doing that at the minute. So I do definitely think we are looking at a bullish chart here for Cardano. Uh, potentially we will see a correction soon but it isn't valid yet we haven't got any indicators that it's um, valid yet but it does definitely need to happen soon as you can see this 20 in May on that weekly time frame is actually on the $1.63 region and if I just measure that for everyone you can see that that's around 70% uh, away and 70% uh, away where your 20 in May is when that was um, holding a support for two weeks prior um, this is definitely um, something which needs to change. We do need to see it increase and maybe we do need to see a correction just to allow that 20 EMA to kind of uh, meet in the middle. So it is definitely something which needs to happen, but it's not valid yet. And I'll, um, I'll continue to do these daily updates and inform anyone when it, when it is going to happen. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to go and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. If you're interested, I've got a Discord group. I've got a Twitter. I'll make sure to leave the links in the description. 